My, my full-time job is as senior scientist for the Knowledge Transfer Network. The Knowledge Transfer Network is part of a government agency. It's funded by the Technology Strategy Board, which in itself is funded by, directly by government. We stimulate interaction between businesses and universities to tackle scientific and technological challenges. So new products and services coming out of research, often in universities, but brought to uh, a wider marketplace by, by businesses and through collaboration. So we, if you like, we make marriages, that's what we do. Um, so I'm, I'm the senior scientist with, uh, within that. And my background is in environmental um, areas, particularly environmental sustainability areas. So I, I, uh, I look particularly at industries such as water, the water sector, uh, waste management, resource management, um, farming and agriculture, um, and increasingly what, uh, what is being called circular economies, how we can design, make, remake products and services so that they utilise resources effectively and don't um, produce environmentally damaging consequences. But also for industry, it's more cost effective as well. So that's the broad area in which I work. Um, I also retain a link with the University of Oxford um, at, uh, uh, at Wolfson College in uh, Oxford. I, I go to read and research and listen to things. Um, and uh, I also have uh, a couple of uh, uh, voluntary things that are important to me. I, I have been the chair of both the Institution of Environmental Sciences and Society for the Environment uh, over the last few years, and, uh, and, and I still input to their, uh, their management teams. Somebody once asked me if I was, uh, what I was going to do when I grew up, and I said, uh, I'm not ha I don't have any plans to grow up, at least not any time soon. And similarly, I don't think I ever planned to be an academic, uh, or indeed somebody working in knowledge exchange. Um, it just kind of happened. I think I've probably found my niche. I am a curious person. I am interested in science and I'm interested in people. So looking at human impact on the environment and how people exchange information around between say the business community and scientists to find solutions, that is, that is something that does interest me. On a more prosaic note, my godmother gave me a copy of one of Rachel Carson's books when I was about 12. I devoured it and it wasn't until many years later that I realised uh, who Rachel Carson was. So perhaps that had a, an influence as well. I, I, I studied uh, for a geography degree at University College London. My first uh, move to London after being brought up in the English Midlands, actually. Um, I focused on the scientific aspects of geography and geology. Loved it. I moved to the University of Exeter to do research on human impact on the hydrological cycle and specifically on, on rivers. It was a fieldwork based statistical mathematical type uh, of approach but also using historical documentation to map changes in, in rivers in, in towns, UK towns. Um, from there I went, I worked for a couple of years as a lecturer at, uh, at Exeter before moving in the depression, uh, the uh, financial depression of the 1980s uh, to uh, what was then quite a small college in Gloucestershire, which grew to become the University of Gloucestershire. So I was the head of department in the university there for many years, became interested and, and led my department to be uh, a fairly significant force, I think, in teaching and learning innovation nationally. We were certainly rewarded by the government for doing that. Uh, and I took that interest in innovation then to the University of Oxford, where I, I led the Environmental Sustainability Knowledge Transfer Network, which was about innovation in, in business and universities rather than in, in the teaching and learning aspect, but, but lots of parallels. Um, and, and that's the kind of work that I'm, that I'm still doing. Uh, very interested in how people can scale up research into genuine application. Uh, and, and, that, and that, of course, is something I've tried to do my whole life. Um, I've also, for many years, run my own small environmental consultancy business, focusing on water 
and actually at one time on, on the generation of dust in the atmosphere as well, mainly on, mainly on water. I don't teach university students anymore. Well, only occasionally actually, still do occasionally, occasional undergraduate and postgraduate classes. But my colleagues and I in the Knowledge Transfer Network do do a lot of work with businesses helping them to understand the concept of open innovation, which is, which is to do with collaboration between researchers and people who want to apply the research, um, uh, and how you can bring in, uh, and how you can bring in all sorts of uh, uh, different people to inform your innovation process. And all the uh, international evidence suggests that that's the way you get the best kind of innovation, actually the most effective kind of innovation, through a very open approach rather than trying to have it all closed inside your own organisation. Um, so, although I don't do teaching, I'm still involved in helping people to learn, I hope. I think every lecture is a bit of a performance, and I do like amateur dramatics, actually, uh, and I sing with a choir, so I do like a bit of performance. Um, yeah, you have to be slightly nervous, I think. Gives you gives you a bit of an edge, um, makes the lecture work, but you also, I think, want a bit of bit of humour, slightly relaxed, bit of engagement with the, lot of engagement with the audience. Um, so uh, what's it like to lecture? Scary, exciting, but very satisfying, particularly if you manage a nice, neat, well-timed and well-constructed presentation. I, I've had a number of occasions in my career when I've been really pleased with an outcome. I, I do get a lot of satisfaction from creating you know, nice projects, winning research bids and, and so on. Uh, I was very honoured uh, some years ago now to be awarded a National Teaching Fellowship by the Higher Education Academy. That's a university, a national university honour and um, I, was, I was unbelievably pleased. Um, actually, I've been pretty pleased uh, to, to, to pick up the Gresham role because I think it's new it's different for me. It's not an area in which I've been involved previously. And, uh, and I, I, yeah, I was really delighted.